Right, can you say hello? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. So, we've been putting on some clothes for Novarain for Christmas, well, for like the month of December. Some of them have arrived. That is a very oh. long, bad looking thing. This didn't. Oh. This wasn't on any of it. They've, they've specifically made it extra. This wasn't on any of the listings. I love how they put it on a tissue. <laughs> it's like a little bell. How cute is that? That is adorable. It will fit on it fair as well. Wow. It's adorable. So there's number one. Here's the hat for number two. I don't know what this is about. I don't know which outfit it is. So. Probably just to match the green it means. It doesn't really match. No. That definitely goes with that. Yep. Oh, cute though. Yeah. It's adorable. It's really it's I love the little, little fake pockets. And there's this one. Oh. Winter witches and bowler. Polar bear. Bowler pear. <laughs> Kisses. It's really soft and fluffy as well. It's okay. What was that? I think it was like um, a fighter jet. Huh. Uh... <coughs> These girls have been so freaked out this last 24 hours because we've had like thunder and lightning and everything. So this bib goes with the next outfit. Can you lie down, please? Lie down. You go. <laughs> Little polar bear. Loves the skate. So obviously that goes with that. Stay there. Oh my gosh, they look <coughs> These are literally <coughs> girls. girls. You broke your own ear. <laughs> this is super cute. And it goes with. <laughs> Which again is all completely fleece. And these outfits were only used on dolls. Were they? Yeah, the, um, she's got twin granddaughters and one of them <laughs> loved dolls and she bought these um, specifically for her doll because it fitted like, really well. Um, Cute. But she had got grown a little older. And both of those, both of her twin granddaughters um obviously but they were born um like really super early as well like pram mm. and one weighed four pound nine the other weighed five pounds something i want to say five two <coughs> so yeah some winter clothes for no <coughs> rain this one is adorably soft. It's crazy, feel it. You just made a really good cake of clothes. I did. Yeah. And someone does their shopping At online. Goes. <laughs> because this is a tree liner. <laughs> Which are much easier than the carrier bags. Yeah, you just literally pick it all up together and boom. So, we'll be back once these girls stop being 
titties. I got caught. Should we uh, just uh? It's not gonna work, mummy. Don't break it, man. It's perfect. What are you talking about, dumb mama? So cute. My Dumbo is uh, keeping it up. Yeah, they are. I don't know. Start to look at them. Yeah. I look like an elf. Oh, it fell. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. You've also got... When did that happen? Just. That's why Alba's going up and trying to bite her off. Um, <laughs> one of the drinks that we ordered for our advent calendar. Please ignore our mound of boxes <laughs> because <laughs> I'm gonna turn the camera around. Lord. Because obviously we're not spending Christmas with anybody, we've had to save like a ton of boxes that we've had arrive because obviously we've got everybody's Christmas presents here that we need to send in the post. We've no idea which box is all gonna fit in. So we've literally <laughs> saved every Decent-ish quality box that we've received. So we can trial and error too. of which one it's going to fit in. Literally. We've got a lot of, like, <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of cardboard boxes in this house. It's literally just like, like a cardboard no mound. And out there is the Get same as well. So, and what I was getting at is... Don't be being cute again. <laughs> They're off by the bandana. Oh my God. What pickle dragged Alvaro off? <laughs> no shame. None, none whatsoever. <laughs> right, let's get these drinks before they go mega cold. <laughs> and although they can be drunk cold, that was not our aim. No. Oh Lord. Can't get you propped up now. That'll do. Bad angle, but... So... 
That smells amazing. I know. This is the salted caramel flavoured one, which could be hot and or cold. And this is the only one out of the ones we had the other day. Although they're all frappes, this is the only one that contains caffeine. Mm. The others don't. So, are you having your first sip to do your next? No. Good. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh. Wow, that literally tastes like I'm at Starbucks or Costa. It does, that's really good. That is such a strong flavour and it is so nice. Considering the fact that these are reasonable sized glasses, mm. like each packet is supposed to make up 480 mils of fluid, I think. Yeah. Um, Which is supposed to serve two people. Yeah. Um, I'll put a picture in here of which one it is we're drinking. Like just merrily like playing and chewing over a piece of cardboard. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, really, really yummy. I definitely recommend you get one of these. Um yeah, I got them on eBay. So if, I'm sure if you were to type in the title of what's on the picture it'll come up. Um but yeah, they're really good, highly recommended. So we're gonna go drink it. We are. Or did they just fall? Well, Alba went out first. Yeah, you know, don't you? Alba went out first and just sort of stood by her feet and was like, hi. I know you. <laughs> but this one just bolted it. No, she didn't wait. She just go down, look, look at her and sniffed her a little bit. And then they just casually strolled off into the <coughs> other land. Yeah. You cheeky bum. Was that fun? Was it? I oh, know what I did. Don't you? Did you have fun? <laughs> she can't even look at me. No. Did, did you have fun? Was that nice? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Who was it? She's like both happy, but she, she knows yeah, she as well. <laughs> wow. Really yeah. Did you have fun? Did you? Did you have fun? Yeah. Did I, Mum? Did I have fun? Yeah. Can never kiss. Can never kiss. And Mummy couldn't even shout for you, could she? Because it's so late. Can never kiss. Can never kiss. Can I have a kiss? Elba. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss, please? Elba. She knows. So she's both excited. And sad all at the same time. You are you, you a bit emotional. It's a really large box. I think it was last time as well. Is it not upside down? Do you know what? It's I on its it, side. I thought it was. I thought it was. You're going to want to be careful. I think that's, should be I think that's the top. This. This is the top. This has got a bird on it. Uh. That's the side. Yeah. yeah, it's the same as the box that we had last time. 
Who is that? I think I farted. Talk about ruin the moment, Alba. Well, that text is huge compared to the others. Really weird how she knows. And he's home, isn't he? Is he home? Yeah, because she doesn't act like this with anything else. It's a box. She gets yeah. excited with boxes. She's actually genuinely got runny eyebrows. Like sad eyes. I like that they've managed to do it exactly the same as Mr. Spice and Nobby. Yeah. It's a lovely look. I know, Princess. I know. I know. I need a hug, Mummy. Yeah. It's okay. So you guys know how much she reacts to boxes, and this is not how she reacts. It's gizmo, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Who never does that either? Did it stop? What's going on? That's your phone. No, that's your, that's your pad. She's uh. not her. You look really sad. It's okay, Alba. He's home now. Isn't he? He's home. Yeah. He's home. Yeah. yeah. She really does look genuinely sad. Yeah. Dixie, no thank you. Yeah. You're okay. Here you are. You're okay. Good girl. It's okay. I said to Soph um, earlier on, I was like, I think now that he's here, back with us, I think I can cope with turning off his CCTV camera. Because, yes, it has been running that entire time. Because... It's just been one of those things that is, we've not been able to do it. Um, and you may think it's stupid, but for us, it's just a he's, process we couldn't yeah, do. He's been with us for our entire relationship. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're po possibly going to keep it running tonight. And then turn it off in the morning. Yeah. Um, now that he's here officially. So yeah. we'll put him with the other two. We need to find someone nice to put him um, yeah. with them. Because at the moment, Mr. Spice is in the Harry Potter room. Nobby's downstairs. And obviously Gizmo's now in here. So we, like everything's jumbled up from us deciding at certain points well, like whenever they passed or let's put them here and then another one's passing is like oh let's put them here but it just hasn't ever come together so yeah we're gonna have to do that yeah but yay he's home yeah. i'm happy he's home yeah so we're gonna chill for the evening yeah so thanks for most day us we'll see you tomorrow good night everyone good night can you say good night? She pushed me off. Oh, the bed. what a bit. Can you say good night to the people? Elba? Elba? Say good night. No, I want to sniff this box and sit on Nova's head. Um, I thought you told me to sit on the still, Mama. Elba. Oh, Nova was super cute. Can you? Put that pillow back under there. I'm gonna to have to go downstairs. Yeah. Never was super cute. Like this.
until she stood on her. So, good night from all of us. You're being clingy. So, I just sat here. We just had a crumble that Mandy gave us, crumble. which is Fernie's mum. And we was at... I'm okay with it. Who do you think you are, Kate Winslet? Yeah, how did you know, Mum? <laughs> how did you know? We in the Titanic. Thankfully not. Yep. Are you wanting me to play with your tummy? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Mum. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> you just sat here and that situation just happened. She's she's blinking, look. She just threw herself down. You want me to play with your tummy? Yeah, no! <laughs> I don't like it when you freeze it like that, mama. Um, I don't know what these girls think they're getting. Girls, yes, there was mom? no option of this. Are you being cheeky? Being damn cute. Um, Abba. 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 <laughs> causing a draft. A, a very big draft. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit my butt down then, Mama. No more. Oh, God. Anyway, as I'm trying to oh, say. God. Lie down, please. I, um. Come lie down. Just remembered that down. the lady who dropped Gizmo off um, said that she was. <laughs> she was really happy that she was able to be the one to bring him home because she was there um, when we took him in. And Charlie said that she was one of the main people who was crying. Um, so it was really nice that she managed to bring him home. So we thought we would tell you guys that. They're, like this vet, like it's kind of like it's their pets as well. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They are so so much different to any other vets that we've been to, mm. and like they're just so compassionate. And for them to say that, it it's just really nice because they've not even really like met Gizmo. No. I think this was like the second time that they, mm. they've met him because he's just not needed yeah, he's, veterinary he's care. Yeah, he's been in perfect health pretty yeah. much, hasn't he? Um, so for him to have had that impact in that short space yeah. of him being now obviously struggling and for her having wanted to bring him home because mm. we had a phone call yesterday... And they said um, that Gizmo and his ashes were ready to be getting picked up. And so I emailed the vet again and said, is there any chance anybody can drop him back? If not, then I'll try and contact the um, the volunteer service for, like, that are helping out with COVID at the minute. Um, and straight away they responded just like, no, this person will bring it back at this time. Um, and they didn't have to do that. No. They've been really they, nice. They like like that's why I said to them that I'm happy to get a volunteer because mm. they've dropped all of the meds that we've needed throughout the year. Yeah. All of their flea treatment, their worm treatment. <laughs> they've not charged us for consultation fees for everything I emailed them about. Mm, and yeah. When we first noticed that clip of Gizmo going like a bit on his side from his CCTV, mm. they could have charged us for a consultation fee with that yeah. because. Technically, it took that took up time of them reviewing the footage, yeah, and talking about it for a decision of what and, to do. And even the day that he, he passed away, they, they said that they weren't going to yeah, charge us. Yeah, they didn't charge us consultation fee. Which, if if we were at our old vets, they would have done that. Um, so yeah, to then drop him home as well. I mean, it's to the extent that when. We had a rabbit once before called Mr. Spice, and when he passed away, I had to take him to the vet, and it was that old vet, and I felt... You said you felt stupid for I crying, did. Didn't I you? felt stupid for crying. I felt like they were looking down on me. Um, like, why is she crying? It's yeah, yeah, and I, I, I really genuinely felt like 
I wasn't wealthy enough to be there. Um, because they they look after like horses and stuff as well. They've got like another like bit that's like, yeah. And... Um, but I legitimately felt like I, that like I wasn't wealthy enough to be in there, and just it was horrible. And I was on my own at that point because Charlie was in hospital. Um, <clears throat> it was just horrible. It's a horrible experience. I mean, death isn't nice at the best of times, but. And you get when you're not having a great experience with it from the the one pe- like person or team that is supposed to be there for you during these yeah. times of need. Yeah. And then they make you feel like that. It's just not nice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just been really nice that um, our vets have helped us so much and for them, yeah. obviously, to say that as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys that. Indeed. So, yeah. Yay. Yay.